Hey there, welcome to this brand new video where we are going to compare Nextcloud and OnCloud, the two most popular file hosting and sharing solutions. I'm Atul Priya Sharma and let's get started. Let us begin by seeing what Nextcloud has to offer. Setting up and configuring Nextcloud is a breeze. It provides you with a lot of applications to get started with. So let us go ahead and install all the recommended applications. On the first run, Nextcloud gives you a glimpse of all the features that it has to offer. Let us look at some of the popular features of Nextcloud in the next section. First up, let us look at file management, which is one of the core features of Nextcloud. It allows us to create different types of files and provides templates to get started with. Let us create a new markdown file using the template provided, add a new action item to the file and save it. And there you see the file is saved. You can also upload and share files. So let us upload a JavaScript file and there it is. Nextcloud also provides a note taking application by default. Let us create a new to-do list and add some task to it. You see how easy that is? It even has a calendar application built in. So let us go ahead and create an event and save it to our calendar. Talking about team management and contacts, Nextcloud allows you to create and import contacts, manage groups and do a lot more. Nextcloud also comes with chat and video call application and makes it easier to interact with users on your teams. You can chat with people right from the dashboard or use their mobile application. Their video chat app is just like any other app that you use. You can share your screen, use background filters, reactions and a lot more. And the best part is that all of it is out of the box. You don't have to install any third party application to do this. And that's why I feel Nextcloud is more than just a file sharing app. It also comes with an activity feed which basically is a log of all the activities performed by different users from your team. It's a pretty handy security feature to have. Finally, let us look at the marketplace of Nextcloud. The marketplace is home to a lot of applications that you can install on Nextcloud from calculator, media streaming, music and maps. Let us install maps and see how easily it integrates with our Nextcloud installation. Once it is installed, you will see a maps icon on the top. Let's click on it and launch the application. You see, you can use it like any other maps application you already use. Let us search for Statue of Liberty. There she is. You see, with all these features, Nextcloud is much more than just a file sharing solution. Let us now look at its counterpart, OnCloud. Did you know that Nextcloud is a fork of OnCloud? So the installation and setup is pretty similar. Once installed, you are presented with a dashboard which you are already familiar of if you are using Nextcloud. OnCloud also has a robust file management offering. While it doesn't have templates by default, you can still create a variety of files. You can also upload and share files like you did with Nextcloud. Let us look at user management. OnCloud allows you to create new users and even import existing users. You can add new users, manage their permissions and groups as well. And just like Nextcloud, OnCloud also has its own activity feed where you can see all the activities performed by different users within OnCloud. One of the reasons why I don't like OnCloud is because it doesn't have many applications out of the box. Even applications like Calendar are missing. Hence, you need to use the App Marketplace to install any application. Which, by the way, isn't as expansive as what Nextcloud has to offer. Let us go ahead and install the Calendar application. And there you see, once you install the application, you can use it like any other Calendar application, create and add events to the Calendar. In this video, we looked at all the features of Nextcloud and OnCloud offer along with the dashboards. Let us now look at their mobile apps. Here, I have shown the official Android apps for both the applications. Both the apps allow you to connect to their respective cloud instances and perform different actions. Basically, you can do everything from the mobile app that you can do from the dashboard, 
like creating a file, creating users, creating events, and even chatting with your teams. So in this video, I shared my thoughts about Nextcloud and OnCloud, but I'm sure you want to try them for yourself too. Well, you can try Acon Cloud Platform, which provides a free computing sandbox mode that allows you to build, deploy, explore, or share applications. You can use your GitHub ID to log into Acon and try our pre-configured Nextcloud and OnCloud instances. Within a few clicks, you will have these instances up and running. Fun fact, this entire video was shot using apps deployed in sandbox mode. So head over to acon.io to know more or refer to the links in description below. Happy exploring!